it was going to be a very long trip, and um, we got on the train knowing that that weather wasn't so hot, but they promised her that we would get bussed if we couldn't get on the train. So it took like 18 hours to get to Los Angeles. And then when we got there, they said, yeah, no, it's not going to happen. So we were very upset, and they ended up putting us on a plane. And um, so we had to wait like all day at the LAX airport and uh, we got on an overnight uh, plane with all of us scattered from one end of the plane to the other. And um, we made it back there and thank God we got a fly back too because by the time we got to Los Angeles we were so over the train. Yeah, we were like, mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm, no, no, this is for the birds. Like, it was way too long. <laughs> only had me back then, I could have told you exactly how to get there. Probably, probably. Yeah. But I think now it would be, a, it's just a different experience. And I bet you could probably hardly wait to go to Europe and use all of their transportation oh systems. God, yeah. I'm going over the sector now. See that building right there, the pyramid? I work on the ninth floor of that building. Oh, wow. Nice. Yep. <laughs> uh, so it used to be the money store, like a big money building, and it's I work for uh, the Department of General Services, I work for the state. Okay. So we have, it's not our building, but we rent out of that yeah. building. We own many of them, but not that one. But yeah. So I walk this little path frequently. <laughs> so you have relations to Caltrans? Yeah, yeah, of course. Department of General Services has every, we have relations to every state agency. Because yeah. we're basically like the purchasing power for the state. Yeah, well, they have California is owned by California. I would not be, so I'm going to bow down to your knowledge on that one. I do accounting, so I don't necessarily know all the ins and outs of that coolness. But. Yeah, Amtrak California is owned by Caltrans. These units that we're in aren't even owned by Amtrak. They're just run by Amtrak. The oh. state actually owns these, and they pay Amtrak to run these trains along this corridor. So far the air conditioning seems like it works. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. I'm okay with that because when yeah. I come back it's going to be nasty. Yeah. These have a European interior actually. Sorry, I just like totally geeked out there. You can totally geek out there. I've been to Europe and I've been on the train. So I've done an overnight train. That was an adventure. Um, I've used many modes of transportation in Europe. Many. So. Yeah, there's a. I want to go on the two overnighter train. It's a. It takes you from Emeryville to. Uh, was it Chicago? Oh, well, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, I'd get on at like Roseville or something. Have you ever done the one, especially during the winter time, from here to Reno? I have not. But okay. That's the one that we want to go on. Next. I have many. I haven't done it myself, but many of my family members have, and they really enjoy it because it's just such a lovely. Yeah, you. in the yeah. snow and stuff, and you go around Donner Lake and stuff, yep. too. Oh, yeah. I, I hope you do get in on that, because that'll be lovely. Yeah. Everything that I really see goes over Donner Pass anyway, so sometimes in the winter, if you're up near, like, Colfax area, mm -hmm. you can still see snow on the top of the trains. That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. By the time it gets down here, though, it all melts. Silly. Silly, that snow. Yeah. And in the winter time, because I live way out in Rancho off of 50, and I'll be driving it to work, and there'll be cars covered in snow, and I get like snow kicking back. I'm like, hey, it's like to get all the way down here, and I'm like, oh, that's so messed up. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, I was just in Europe in April and used the trains a lot. Because um, I flew into Paris and then took the train over to Belgium and then um, left my stuff in Brussels and then went to several different towns in Belgium. And then I took the train two hours away to Cologne in Germany. And then um, it's just a very easy trip over to Luxembourg from Belgium. So I would highly recommend if you're a person that likes travel yeah. to do like, you could easily use Belgium not only for planes but for trains and, uh, and even boats you could take easily take a boat over to England and then I took a train from Brussels to Amsterdam and I flew home yeah uh, compared to all the other countries in the world uh, the US is like the least advanced in train technology oh I'm not yeah. surprised not 
surprised about yeah. that. So I wasn't with a tour group, but um, I do travel by myself a lot. And then um, this particular one, I had booked my travel and I was going to go. And then a friend of mine uh, was turning 60 in March and she was just like, when's your next trip and how do I get on it? And she's never traveled internationally before. And so um, she was very excited. And uh, so she ended up going with me and she wouldn't travel by herself, but I'm totally totally for solo, especially solo female travel, because there are a lot of people that don't, females that don't feel empowered to travel by themselves, but it's a, it's a wonderful and very empowering thing to do. I did the first time major, major traveling by myself when I was 25, but, um, and I did three weeks in Europe by myself, and then, but when I... I was living in uh, Central America and I had the chance to go, to, I was living in Costa Rica and I could easily get myself up to Nicaragua and get myself to Panama and I did both of them solo. Not always like the best yeah. thought process. Like I arrived in Panama from my town in Costa Rica <laughs> at 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Uh, some nice people on, on my bus were like, yeah, we're not going to let you walk by yourself. And I'm like, thank you. And then I slept with my bed pushed up against the door. I'm not yeah. dumb. Yeah. Like, yeah, right. You do what you got to do, but I don't I don't mind. I, uh, I was in a, a rooftop swimming pool looking at all of, you know, Panama City. And I thought, mm, life is pretty good. Yeah. And you would have enjoyed it. I went to the Panama Canal and saw the smallest oh. ship and one of the biggest ships pass through. That is, that's awesome. Yeah. It was amazing. And yeah, so... And it was fun. I was sitting next to a woman from Orange County, and then another lady from Spain, and you know, and then like it was just gaggles of different languages and different people, just you know, admiring this crazy, you know, work of art, really. Yeah. On the Yolo Causeway now. Got some bees out there. I've actually been on this stretch of track before, uh, back when I was a kid. Yeah. We used to live in Sassoon. Okay. So actually, no, we were close to Sassoon. We were in Cordelia. Okay. And. My mom drove me out here to Davis, and there was, I don't remember what it was called, there was some sort of Christmas train out here. <laughs> drove oh, us yes, here. yes, there, there was, there yeah. is, there. <laughs> it drove us along here, don't remember where it went, probably like... Dix. Nowhere. Yeah, it, <laughs> it went, basically goes nowhere. Yeah, it probably went to like Dixon or something, and then came back. But we did go along this, I do remember. How did you get roped into going, or did you want to go to... And he said, Grandma, let's do it. And wanting to go, trying to get his mom to go. And I said, okay, it's fine. Let's go. Oh, my God. That's so amazing. That's super awesome. Yep. Yeah. Gives us a chance to be together, too, on our own. Yeah. Yeah. We don't get this often. Do you not, do you not live close, or? We do. Uh, we live, like, 10 miles apart. Okay. But you don't get to go on adventures like that often, huh? Yeah, no. Yeah. Which is, which is like, this is rare. Take care of me now. Yeah, there you go. I uh, had the pleasure of uh, moving in with my grandmother when she was 89. And I uh, lived with her until she was 97. And um, people gave, they're like, how can you, you know, there's 30 years difference between you guys, blah, blah, blah. And, oh, she's one of my best friends. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. She had the most amazing stories. And, um, but it was fun. Like, I introduced her to Thai food and Indian food. And, like, for Mother's Day, she was happiest when you just gave her a watermelon. It made her yeah. so, like, giddy happy. And she loved watermelon. And, I, um, you know, in addition to that, I, I grew up with my great-grandparents when I was young, they were on the property that my family had. I think it's it's truly a blessing. It is. For not just your grandson, but for you as well. Like, it was for, for me and for my grandma. Like, it was both of us. I didn't have, I don't have children, but I have cats, and I named one of my cats after her. Because I knew I, whenever I had a child, I wanted to name my girl after her. And so my, my girl Kitty, her name is Genevieve, which was my grandmother's name. She's a stinker. <laughs> She's such a little stinker. And I just laugh. I'm like, okay. It's 
for their cat. Name me after Grandma. Grandma had a lot of spunk too. Yeah. I'm named after her. Really? What's yeah. your name? My name is Wade and she's Gail Wade. That's awesome. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. It's so weird because I usually drive this route. Usually on that road over there. This feels normal well to me because I haven't been on that road in like six years. <laughs> yeah, it has. Yeah, actually, we've lived in Fairfield for like eight years now. Well, we came and visited you a couple times, so yeah, like six years. Okay, so do you live? No. Okay. He just he, he moved from Fairfield up there. Okay. She she lived in Fremont. I lived in Fairfield. Okay. We both moved to Auburn. Oh, why Auburn? Well, well, because we have a camp. Uh, Sorry to keep cutting you off. We have a campsite up here at Downeyville, a okay. campground we really love. And so we uh, we wanted to be closer to that. And Auburn is like an hour away from it. Wow, that's devoted to a spot. Well, it's, it's just part of our uh, Well, when, when uh, my daughter, my youngest daughter, is she, she uh, I started taking able to find employment up there that also allowed you no, to follow that. I was retired and she, uh, she, she at that time was also retired and she, she was just in the sheriff's department. Okay. And, uh, she retired disability. Uh -huh. And she just, uh, it was... Are you videoing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. that she's so glad no, I got a bottom seat because David. of the David. stairs. I don't do stairs. David. And uh, she was like, it's crowded, all the seats are taken. Oh, we had uh, unreserved seats. Probably because we got on in Auburn with like six other people. Makes sense. Okay. Well, yeah, Graham, because in railroad terms, we live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. 
Yes. Good morning and welcome aboard Amtrak number 720. I heard about the Cal versus those of you Cal versus David. Oh yeah, there's more train games right here. All stops. San Jose. Fairfield, Vacaville, Fairfield, Martinez, Richmond, Berkeley, Emeryville, Oakland, Jack Leather Square, Oakland Coliseum, Hayward, Fremont, Great America, Santa Clara, and a final stop at San Jose, here at Station. All restrooms are located in the bottom stairs level of every car. And also, we can have a cafe car. In car number three, that's the middle of the train. Upstairs, you make your way to the middle of the train. Those of you in the front, make your way back. Those in the back, make your way forward to access the cafe car. Currently open and serving car number three upstairs. Our next stop will be Fairfield, back of us. No, I've never been farther than Fairfield Vacaville on this line because my mom's friend actually lives in Vacaville. And so. Good, how are you? Hold on, I want to hear this. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to Gatherer. I was going to say, we know each other. Okay. You don't. We, we, we would, <laughs> considering I just made friends just from SAC to here. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, right. <laughs> that's it. So, okay, that's so now tell me, your mom lives in... Um, my, we live in Auburn, so we okay. started at the termination point, and uh, the farthest I've ever been is to Fairfield Vacaville because my mom's friend mm. lives in Vacaville. We used to, uh, we used to live uh, in Sassoon, uh, and then we moved up to Auburn about eight years ago or so. And actually, no, I've been to Martinez before, but other than that, that's the farthest I've been. So this is going to be an experience for me. It's going to be great. And what's your destination? Uh, Santa Clara. Oh my Great gosh. Great Station. Great Great America. Oh, yeah. how fun. Grandma's doing it too. You going to go, go on the big rides? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Depends on what you like. Yeah. Oh my you, gosh. you only got to do what you want to do. Amen. I hear you. So I'm looking at taking uh, my grand, my uh, my granddaughter to Maryland. And her mom. We're, we're going to go to uh, fly up to Seattle and then take a sleeper on the way home. Oh, okay. And the track. There's like a family room you can get, and it looks like it'll be so fun. You can take a sleeper from, uh, what do you call it, Sacramento to Seattle, too. You can. You can. The times, though, were like yeah. at night. It's this... at night. It sucks. Yeah, I so wanna... you saw that. Yeah, because I wanted to see the scenery. And yeah. Then... Yeah. Because the Chico station, when my sisters were in the university, I wanted to see that train so bad, but they come through at like 1 and 4 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In four years. Europe, is it? No, we, we, we had a little Europe oh chat. She's, she's done a lot of Europe travel as well, oh. so she can tell you about the transportation. We have so, transportation in general lover, right? It's not just yeah. trains, correct? No, it's not just so trains. I, I mean, it's mostly trains. It doesn't trains, take me long. <laughs> World travel. How many countries have you been to? 44. Wow. Most of them solo. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. I do. I love to travel. Yeah. I travel to three more countries next week. Oh my gosh, we're going to talk about My cruise that. leaves, yeah, on the 11th. And we're going to Spain and Morocco. Uh, oh, wow. Two years. Yep, 2024. We're going to have better knees by then. That's the plan. Um, but yes, we do have a plan uh, to, to go there. I've been to Spain, uh, but I've only been to Barcelona, and Spain is so big, and there's so much to see. So I've always wanted to go to Spain and Morocco. So. Sorry, Vinny. You're fine. I'll be my first two. It's good. Um, yeah, I know. I keep seeing, I, I have follow a bunch of stuff on Facebook from Morocco, and it's you? because I love Moroccan doors and like their, um, just the way that they paint their homes and their buildings. It's just beautiful. It's, it's got so much character and um, colorful. colorful and like uh, patterned, you know, but like elegantly patterned. Yes, not like, yes. you know, not like royal, but like. I don't know. It seems to have a fluidity to it that makes it comfortable. Yeah. As opposed to, you know, some of them are look ornate. Like, you see yeah, a lot right. of the, the, like, the church doors when you see them in, like, 
Italy. You know, they're amazing, and you know, but it's usually like some sort of like a metal something, and it's yeah. very intricate and kind of dark, and, and you know, but they're gorgeous. But I think that with Moroccan, um, just like architecture in general, it's usually like very nice colors that are bright but not too bright, yeah. and then the like the pattern, the lattice work, or some more of a delicate kind of like shape. I think they're fascinating. Yeah, I'm, I have been talking to her about this trip because I'm going to be 60 that year. That year. It's quite exciting. 2024, I'm going to be 60. She's living it up for her. So I'm like, we're going to Spain and Morocco together. She's fluent in Spanish. She speaks Spanish fluently. <laughs> so I'm going to have... So, um, have you... Th I was looking also at the Reno. The, the, ah! Yep, the Reno one. Yeah, we want to do that one next. I want to do that one too. Oh my gosh, well, no, I remember this place. I had asked him if he had done it yet, because I have heard, because my aunts have taken it, um, and they just, and grandma took it, and they were just really excited about it, because it was just such a pleasant and gorgeous, you know, Yeah. you don't have to, you can be nice and warm and snuggly, yeah, and right. then see all the cold and, you know, different outside. This is like a nostalgia trip for me, because I, I used to live along these tracks. Those, those past two crossings that we just went past, uh -huh. I've been to those two before. And then you just haven't, since you moved up there, you I haven't, haven't been, been back? down. No, well, I've like rode the train down here a couple of times, but other than that, no, I haven't gone, I haven't come back. So, do you like Auburn better than Sassoon? It's hard to tell because, like, as far, like, I've kind of grew up in Auburn now, but I was literally a kid when I was in Sassoon. So, what I don't grade are you in now? Uh, I'm a freshman now. Okay. So I teach sixth grade at uh, David Weir. I was gonna say oh. she's a teacher. <laughs> I was gonna say high school. Good job, Valerie. Good I job. I love I love young people. I feel like your energy is like taking wrinkles off my face, I'm just soaking it in. <laughs> I do. I love young people. I think they what they're very important. Really? Yeah. So at freshman in high school, it's gonna be hotter than. It's going to be super hot. Which is so here. nice to get out of that area, isn't it? Uh, I know. Yeah. I know. It's supposed to be warm where we're at, too. Yeah. Uh, we're in the middle of Dixon now. Oh, that, well, let's I show you the train station that they'll never yeah, we use. We just passed it. Oh, we did? Yeah. It's so frustrating because this is where I live. Oh. She lives in Dixon, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And I'm like, so I have to drive 15 minutes this way. Yeah. And to take a bus, because, you know, I can walk to the bus stop in about, or if we have one bus stop, I can walk there in about three minutes, five minutes max. It will take two and a half hours to take a bus from Dixon to the Amtrak Davis station. That doesn't even make sense. No. Because, because Dixon's small, so the line I'm looking at, it stops at the Davis silo, right, Lucy Davis, and then it goes from there to Sacramento. It doesn't even go to the Amtrak. I'm going to write them here. You write them I'm writing them You do it. Because if you don't tell them, and you just complain like I love to do, they're not So did you know her birthday was August 17th? I was this, telling them that this, this is a birthday, birthday trip. trip. I was spending the day together. Wow. She gets to That's have right. That's your birthday present, spending the day with me. <laughs> I gave you some choices. You did give me choices and uh, you know what? I would just be at home right now, so why not? I haven't taken the train, I think since, I was telling them, I haven't taken the train since the one failed attempt that we, we mom, when it was mom and Uncle Tom, and my brother, sister, and I, and the two, my Uncle Tom's two boys, we tried to go visit Aunt Katie and Uncle Dave in, in um, Missouri. On a train? Yeah. Oh. We, and, and we only got to Los Angeles. So happened? That it was flooding back there, and they couldn't oh, get us, so they, they put us in a hotel overnight, and then um, then they put us on the plane. That's, that's the red eye trip. If you ever hear Erin talk about, that's my sister, if you ever hear her talk about, we had to go in all different seats, because there's this large group. She was sitting up like in front of, like I was over here. She was way up there. She was, I don't know, 13? I don't even think she was that. She woke up and she sleeps soundly. She woke up with a beer, a beer in her hand, like an alcoholic beverage in her hand. She tells that story frequently. She's like, <laughs> yeah, so the, the person next to her decided it would be very fun to put an alcoholic beverage in this. Is, there, is this person. recording volume? Or just no, uh, it's just the train itself. Oh, I, just, so I don't want to talking about alcoholic beverages. No, no it's, it's fine. I just wanted to. That's really cool. 
I actually took it. I'm doing an Instagram story on our day today. I'm sorry, you're doing an Instagram story? On our day today, so I took the train coming up. That would have been pretty. You need to get like a picture of yourself with that back there. You are not so me. funny. Not me, it's about us. It's about oh. you and I and our love for each other. Oh, that's right. <laughs> We'll be kind because I just do got my hair dyed last night. Do they so know our relation? Uh, this is my stepmom. I think I said that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she looks just like her dad. She says that every time. You get I that love that. I'm like the, the female version of my father. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like the male version of my mom. You are? Yeah. Awesome. Totally happens. And yeah. if you met my mom, who's like 5'4", all of skin <laughs> and brown eyes, yeah. does that scream me? Brown? She's green. She's brown, I think. Green. Oh. Okay. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I but think Aaron looks like your mom. And Patrick. Aaron actually really looks like a candy. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. She sent me a picture the other day. She's just like, oh, my hair. And I was like, oh, okay. They, she said it was, oh, she was, it was all of her gray hairs that she was showing me. And I just got mine done last night after work. I called while I was at work. And I was just like, Maggie, can you do my hair? Because it was grace are terrible you have to have like my friend i'm going on my cruise with she got her hair cut and got all the like the blonde bits in and everything i was just like i told her i said i need to you know keep up with you so i had to get all of my grays covered but it was just yesterday at uh five o'clock so it's it's in that growing but it has to tame itself down because it's like it goes a little wild when you first get it done and then so when i get on the boat and i'm chilling by the pool I'll have perfectly So common. where, okay, so where are you going again? <laughs> Is this next week? I, I fly out, yeah, a week from today. I'm so jealous. I fly out overnight flight to Miami. Overnight? I hate this one. To Miami, I have uh -huh. business class, we can lay on the bed. <laughs> you funny. Yeah, I don't um, think yeah. any of us could afford that. Yeah, wouldn't that be dreamy? Um, no. So um, you're flying to Miami and then you're taking the ship at Miami? Yeah, so the ship leaves out of the port in Miami. And it's going to Bahamas. Oh, nice. And then it goes to Jamaica. And then oh. it goes to Haiti. Have you been to Jamaica? No, these are three new countries for me. So I'll be at 47. Oh, you will love Jamaica. So Jamaica, I'm Your doing and the excursion yeah. for... So I <laughs> I planned this trip and then Kendra was like, can I go with you? And I was like, sure. That's so oh, you didn't know that's what I'm going Because you were going by yourself. Oh, yeah. So I was going by myself because, oh, you know, I have no problem doing that. Yeah. And I was actually wanting to do that. But then... Um, I rent a room from one of my really good friends who happens to be Kendra. And um, she was just like, can I go with you? And I'm like, sure, I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter yeah. me. We could put another person, like, in our room. Like, we live together. We could travel yeah. together. Yeah. And we have traveled together before we lived together. So, you know, it's a very well-established pattern here. And then um, she's just like, I had to use uh, flight credits. So I had to go through American. And she's just like, I'm going to get there however I get there. And I'm going to get back however I get back. And I was just like... You're a tiny little thing. Who cares? Go for it. Do what you need to do. And so she's flying out like in the morning and like I'm just going to pick her up in, the, in an Uber from the airport, get her. She's going to stay overnight in Miami because it was just cheaper. And um, I would never do a red eye. I would stay overnight. I'm a little queen. Well, we know that. And um, and so. Queen on a beer budget. She has, <laughs> she has two little ones. That they're 10 and 7. And um, she's very excited because she ha she doesn't she hasn't been on a trip without them. without them in over ten years. Obviously, so mm -hmm. it's one is ten, and that's why like when in Jamaica, uh, because of my knee, I'm not going on any like strenuous activities, and I'm going to the Bamboo VIP Lounge where I envision myself in my reserved lounge chair being fanned by a very nice toasted colored man as he is waving the fan and another toasted man is feeding me and another one is bringing me drinks. This is what's <laughs> happening for me, right? And then she's going to be traipsing to the blue hole, traipsing up through the waterfalls. And I was like, I go do you. I was just like, you only have to pay for yourself. And you know, the thing. Um, there's a great picture that um, of your dad carrying me in the front of the waterfall. Yeah, I think I've seen it. Yeah, oh, there's rabbits. That and, sounds great. And um, so I'm just like, I'm going to be spoiled eating some delicious Jamaican food and cocktails. And you can go run amok. I, I have run amok through waterfalls in my days and better knees. And um, and so it's nice because she's just like, I don't have to get uh, 
she's like, I can, if I end up with a middle seat on a whatever, whatever, like, I don't have to pay extra, I'm only paying for myself, and then yeah. I just, she, you know, last time we traveled, she had a, two booster seats, and, uh, no, she had a car seat and a booster seat, yeah. and, like, that each one of the kids had a bag and then a snack bag, and it was just, like, you know, too much work. You know all about that, though, right? Uh, oh. Traveling with kids. <laughs> I see people traveling with strollers and cars, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to live with those days. I have four kids. Yeah. Just buy them. <laughs> buy them. Buy them. Buy yeah. What do you say? Yeah. Buy yourself? Yeah. yeah. So her dad had how many kids did we have? Eight altogether. Eight. Because I had one, we lost a boy, a son, and a, as a baby. But my dad passed away for her youngest. Was was born two days. My two days before. I was awful. Yeah, I was on the phone with her. We were in college, right? I was pregnant with our fourth child, so I was like almost 40. He was almost 50. And, uh, no, he was 50. Yeah, he, well, he had just turned 50. Yeah. And uh, he just died in the car. He just, just died. And he had my three, our three and a half and one and a half year old on his lap, and my nine year old was just like hanging out. She's like, Mom, Dad's acting weak. That's not doing anything. And I go, I had to call you back. Yeah. So, so tragic. I didn't bring anyway. And now that baby. Oh my gosh, she's a feisty thing. It's 18. She's 18. Well, she, first of all, she was the only happy thing. Her birth was the only thing. And, and because I nursed all my children, she's the only thing that kept me alive. I mean, I would have stayed alive if my kids would take care of yes. myself because right. I wanted to make right. sure. You had to get up. I had to get up. I had to make sure I yeah. ate so she could have food, you know. And uh, <laughs> she was so happy, go lucky. And then she was a teenager and she has been a <laughs> spitfire make, giving me a run for my money ever since. She's doing great but she's she's a little strong minded. How's taking public transportation going to get into school? Really? Going? So she's taking would appreciate uh, that. Yeah, she's taking the bus. She goes to American River College. She just started. She doesn't drive yet. She doesn't want to drive. She's okay for insurance. She has a car. She has a Subaru. But, um, she wants to take, she takes the bus, she walks to the bus station, she takes the bus from Dixon to Sacramento, then she gets off and goes uh, through Golden One and takes the light rail to walk in I-80, which is a really bad area, but they have security, I've already talked to them, so we did two, two runs together, I talked to the security, they're all there all the time. She goes up the stairs and takes a bus, a uh, 15 minute ride to American River, it takes about two hours total, so she takes the bus one way, and then her friend has a class that ends at the same time and she rides back with her friend. But if her friend can't go, she could take the bus. She knows how to do it. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm grateful there's a way for her to go because I work the opposite direction. And I leave the house by seven in the morning. Yeah. You can go on the other side of the station platform. That only means that there's one back on the other side. Ooh. Oh, is that why we're over? You, yeah, normally would be on the other side? We would normally be on, that's the side they will usually pull into unless there's another train coming on the other line. Okay, there you go. So, like the Amtrak yeah, capital. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll go, uh, I have a website uh, that I can go to and I can see everything that the train is. I mean, I know. What's it called? Because that's what I needed to find out. Uh, it's it's like asm.transit.us. So if you just pull that up, you can see every... Amtrak train that is on the map, where it is, and it's where it and why it's late. Well, not why it's late, if it's late. Okay. Amtrak train dot transit. No, it's just TV a. It's just ASM dot oh, transit. Oh, I see. Dot. Are you monitoring the speed too? Yeah. I mean, I can kind of gauge how fast we're going, but. Well, that's his dream. He wants to be an engineer. Yeah. See? That's what we need. I'm loving this. Fabulous. We need those brains. Those smart, those. I mean, like, I don't like to use the word smart, because we're all smart in our own way. We all contribute something yeah. to the world. We need out-of-the-box thinkers, designers, creators that will supplement the use in a, in, and be good to the earth at, at the same time. It's a good point. I love this Pancha Mama coffee because it means uh, Mother Earth in Spanish. That's what she told me. 
Pacha Mama. I've never seen that combination before. She's like, what is that? okay. So, of course, I was like, oh, Mother Earth, I love it. Now I'm going to have to Google it. They work with uh, all the farmers, so they work directly with the farmers, uh-huh. so they cut out the middleman. I love that, too. Yeah. I really try to think of where I buy things. We can't always do that, of course. Where am I buying from? Well, how are they treating the environment? How are they treating their employees? You know? Yeah. the restaurant and they don't take reservations from the six unless you have six or more and I said we're so excited to dine with you tomorrow because I called yesterday he's like okay great and I said I can't wait have a great day I don't even remember where we're dining because we I, I threw all that stuff at you that I don't remember I just wanted to make sure that you know that's, which I love that because we're gonna, we're gonna and I appreciate come that come down here more often because I love shopping down here it's so cute I am I'm, I'm very, very, yeah it's up uh, you get off the train and it's the left of you, I think it's 4th Avenue, they have all these cute little shops, and like in the holidays, they have lights. Oh, yeah. We've got to do that. Oh. Um, yeah, we got to do that next. Okay. It's you guys so can do that too. You can get off and go see the lights. Why not? <laughs> At one of these uh, crossings, there's the old five star car wash that we used to go to. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's on this side. You look straight down, and you'll, you'll see it. I, we used to see trains all the time while we were waiting there. Cool. Well, you know, uh, my grandfather was the president of the Central Railroad Railroad in Georgia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, he worked his way up. He started as a conductor. And so my mom grew up, you know, back in the 40s and 50s. When my mom was born in the 40, 40s. Yeah, they t- we took trains everywhere. It was yeah. like, and, you know, um, so when I was a, a child, he would attach a private car to a freight train, uh, and we would take trips, and we would sleep and have eat. And we went. Uh, we took yeah. one from. It was so fun. Oh, we took one, there it is. Oh wow, the car wash is right there. Yeah. We took one from Savannah, Georgia, to uh, New Orleans one time. In so style. The, okay. This, yeah, but this, this, the, so, the sound of the train, I love it because in Dixon you can hear it. I lo- of course I don't drive on tracks, but I still love it. Sound of the train horn. And where you are, you get them like every 45 minutes ish or so. Yeah. Yeah. This is like the highway for everything. Well, yeah. not, this isn't like the worst spot in California. You want the worst part in California, go to Martinez. Oh, really? Yeah. Like every 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah. So, now how, how late are you staying? Are you taking a late night train back? No, we're, we're arriving soon. We are. Uh, <laughs> we're going to Santa Clara. We're going to stay there and do whatever is there for Great America. Well, depending on how much time we have. Then we're going to get on the tr- this train uh, again, but it's headed back. At what time? Uh, it gets there at like 3. In the morning? No, 3 in the afternoon. It's afternoon. Oh, you're staying the night. We're not No, no. We're, go- we're going. Oh, I see what we're you're gonna doing. We're going to have like 3 hours in there. And then we're oh. Gonna- it is, I think it sounds like it's more about the train than about like the destination. Oh, you. Okay. Yeah, I'm the type of person who would literally like get a long distance train to like the other side of the country just to do that. So I hear the one to Colorado is supposed to be amazing. I yeah, that's the that one, one I want to do. I want to do that one and the Seattle one. And the- yes. And it's a big concern. It's about you. Um, Our next stop will be Martinez. Martinez is yeah. yes, the connector point for the San Joaquin train to Bakersfield and the Eureka bus. Name. Coming up in about 25 okay, minutes, again, Martinez. And then this, this other person came. And just as a reminder, we do have a cafe a car. House. Car number three upstairs, the middle of the train. I have two years old. I don't think it was two years old yet. And uh, so we're talking. And this this friend, okay, she, she, psychics. She okay. Is, she is psychic. She's, She's got a gift. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, anyway, we're just talking, we're having coffee and, and pastries and whatnot. And there's there's about eight of us just visiting. And he comes walking by her. And uh, she, she just, she's looking at him, just looking at him. And, and she, she, touch, she touches him. And Hang on, Graham. Sorry to interrupt. 
we used to live right off that line right, right there. Off there. Yep. Okay. Straight down this road. You keep going, you'll pass by our neighborhood. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Very cool. Any, yeah. Anyway, she, uh, she, she touched. Yeah. Touched him, and um, she keeps on talking, and then he's just hanging around the table, hanging around as well. So you know, and, she, and she's watching him, and she's just watching him. Um, uh, can I? She asked permission, of course, and and so you know, my daughter said, "Yeah." Well, I says, "Why not? Tell me what you see. Tell us what you're seeing." She said, um, yeah. "He had a point in, in his life going back in history now. Mm -hmm. He worked on on the on the trains where they met." There, yeah. This from from California to yeah, and he he actually drove one of the last spikes into the railroad. Oh. And there is a picture of him. She said, uh, and he would be there on the engine that was involved in that when they drove that last spike. They had a big fanfare and all. And there's a picture of him, and he, he is the fourth one. Uh, you know, standing by by this train, they were sitting on the engine and whatnot. But he's the fourth one, and um, so after all, you know, after this, wow. we got we're looking at her when she's saying this. And at that time, he was fascinated with trains already, the toy trains, and <laughs> and I got him a table. Anyway, make a long story short, my, my daughter went ahead and she started in this, in this research, doing yeah, research. Yeah, sure. She came across that picture. She actually found that picture that she stated that, that he was in at Mamber looking at it. And so he had a past life. That there he wow. Was. And, now, and then we realized this fascination with trains. Cool. That is... Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Crazy cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. And everything so far, everything that she has said about him, it, it, I mean, it's right on the money. She don't know, you don't need the information or anything. So yes. Yeah. And look, and how we met her was uh, one of my nieces. There were shoes in the grocery store.
with you. I, 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 I mean, when I, it's fun for me too, you know, and, and uh, I'm, I'm 82 years old. What? So, you yeah. look amazing. Uh-huh. You're in great shape. Thank you. And I'm in great shape because my youngsters keep me going. That's kind yeah. of what I'm hoping for. <laughs> so what's your secret besides that? Do you exercise daily? Do you only eat some of something? Or? I, eat, I eat very healthy. I yeah. Eat that. yeah. Um, other than that, I just do my life. I always get busy being outdoors. Well, you have a great energy about you, too. Very healthy and vibrant. And it's the kids. Yeah, see, that's, that's the young ones that, that they keep you. And then again, yeah. I, I think that's I true. I go to school for 23 years. Oh. And I just loved it. It was the kids. Yep. That's how I feel about my job. Mm -hmm. And and you you do. She's right. You pick up their energies. And, you know, it's just... um, So the last thing I want to do is move into a 55-plus area where there's all old people. No, you don't want that. Hello. I mean, I'm not putting... I don't mean that in a bad way, but I think... I don't want to be with just one group. I like the mix of all groups that we can Mm -hmm. share Mm -hmm. with each other. And so my parents live in, um, they're in, well, up until recently, they've been, in, they've been good. My mom was just diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. She's super healthy up until that point. She's doing, she's halfway through chemo, two-thirds through chemo. She's doing good. So that was like a slap in the face. But up until just six, four months ago, everything was fine. Both my parents are healthy. My mom's 77 and my dad's 82. And they live in a 55 plus community. And I, when I, I go visit her in Phoenix every month right now, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, we go to the pool. How old are you? I'm 95. I'm 92. I'm, I'm like, where's the young people? I mean, just the mix. And it, I don't want to do that. I want to be with all ages, and I want to be part of the world, not just a section. Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, after my husband passed, and I I had my grandkids. I helped raise them. I was with them. I, when I say I helped raise them, when, when my, my daughters would work, I took care of them. Yeah, that's awesome. And it, it just, hey, that's what kept me going, too. But um, and they would say, people would tell me, well, you know, you have that, uh, that senior center right down the road there at the lake where you live. And I'm sorry. I'm not ready for a senior center. I mean, where they gather together, they have lunch, and sure. they play cards, and they knit, or do whatever. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't I, kind of, I kind of feel the same way. I don't do that. I'm not ready for that. Okay. Well, what you need to do is go there and change it up a bit. Yeah, and maybe that. Up. Maybe you bring the, the line dancing, or I the, the and I chit-chat. Know, yeah, but I would take some of them their problems home with me. Oh, oh me too. I would want to okay. help them. Me, oh, yes. And I don't need them. Yeah, you know what yeah. yeah. You are a good boundary setter. You oh, listen to things. Rock on. You have to. You have to. You so know, now I want to ask you, I want to ask you a question. I hope I'm not too personal. Have you dated? Have you dated Since them? Since mine has been passed. Yeah. Me? No. Because yeah. no my interest, it was so good, I don't need it anymore. Oh, See, that's so interesting because my husband died 18 years ago. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely up for dating, it, but I don't want, I'm not messing around with anyone that's not worth it, you know. There you go. So. Yeah. She I messed was, around with one that wasn't worth it. Let's put that out there. It didn't go over very well. I was trying to forget about it. I know you were trying, but I'm just be real here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be real. It was not, it was not a, so not, a good. You know, it wasn't. I'm, so no man has even, like. Given, I'm not saying it, it could, would never happen again. If it happens, it happens. But it's yeah. got to be, it's just got to. It's not going to be your reason for existing every day. Yeah. Because I don't need it. I'm not out looking right now either, but I'm yeah. fine. But I don't know. Right I'm now. super happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I enjoy a man's company, but you go home and I'm going home too. So have you enjoyed a man's company? I have. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's, I, I like that. I go home, you go home. I like that mm-hmm. one. I'm wrong with that. Yeah. That's cool. You, you look amazing. I mean, you look amazing. I tell you what, Kendra, now that she's not 
she's separated from her husband and she's out in the field again. I have no urge to go. It is a hot mess out there. Like, I'm just, I'm here to like, you know, what are you going to wear today? Where are you going to go? I, I keep track of her in case, you know, some crazy person goes away with her or something. I'm like, I ain't got, like, this is too much work. Like, and it's stressful. And there's like, does he like me? Does he not like me? Does, oh, I just, ugh. It's, it's so much work. I am, um, yeah. I, t- I talked to someone who's, I'm 57, and so she's 54, and she was, has been divorced for seven years. She's all, like a lot like me, very career minded, um, loves to travel, does things by herself, doesn't want to hold her back. And she met this great guy, and this is the one. He's 59. So I had coffee with her. I'm like, okay, I want to know, like, how did this happen? And she goes, well, let me just tell you, I have seven years of online dating. Before she met the right one. Yeah, so she said yeah. 80 first dates. Basically, they laugh about it. But she said that it's like a business. You, you know, you meet with them for an hour, boom, yes, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Filtering through, I'm like, oh, I don't I'm not up to that right now. Yeah. I don't want one that bad. No, me either. And like I said, if, you know, if I'm not out there, no. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, in a couple of minutes, we will be arriving at Martinez Station. Martinez? Martinez is, is the where connector point for the San Joaquin <laughs> yeah, Bakersfield and the Eureka okay. Plus. I heard people talking about Martinez, Martinez, but not luggage, a lot of sure Berkey, 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 Ooh, that one has a toll. <laughs> yes, it does. And we don't have to drive. Train, we will be arriving at I'm Martinez. all about the train. If it works now, let's take it. <laughs> but you had to pay like 170 bucks. Yay. Oh, I know. It's not bad. Yeah. You really think about the wear and tear of the car, the chances, you know, the safety, the driving. Hey, did you? You probably heard about the uh, derailing. In I did. Oh, there's what? our train. Oh, oh my gosh, that's oh, wait, so... No. That was a different one. That was a different one? That was a different one. I don't know what's happening to ours. Maybe it's waiting for that one. This is kind of a cool view of the boat. It's, it's very cool. I yeah. love it. Hey, when we're on between here and Richmond, this is all we're going to see. Yeah. And that's cool. Yeah, that's the side of the train we chose. It's really pretty. So, do you think... Do they ever, do you know anything about that derailing? The stupid guy was like parked on the track. So what happened, if I remember correctly, the one that you were talking about. Yeah, it was a couple, like a month ago, two months ago. Oh, the, oh, then no. I'm thinking of one from a couple of years ago. No, the, this one's recent. Yeah, it was no, in the I middle don't. of the Midwest somewhere. And the guy. The one in Missouri? Yeah. Yes. What happened was, the train. this happens often for some reason. Uh, the train was going high and... Uh, what do you call it? A tr- semi truck actually ran into the side of the train. Why though? No. I don't know. I think he might have been under the influence or something. Holy fucking! The whole thing toppled the train. The train went, went on Derailed its side. Derailed and went on its side. Yeah. Not your face. I think there were a few. Uh, two or three. Not the worst thing that's happened, though. Um, you know that uh, train that you were talking about going to New Orleans? That used to go to Miami, but in Mobile, Alabama, uh, a tugboat hit the bridge, kinked the track, but he didn't know because he couldn't see. His sonar system wasn't working train goes over at 80 miles an hour, everyone goes in the river, there were like 10 deaths. That's, that was horrible. That would be so scary. You could either drown, get you by a crocodile, burn, or get crushed. In it. So they close that it's terrible. Terrible. No, it doesn't, it, it stops in New Orleans now. Because of that? Because of that. They don't want it happening again. Huge lawsuit. Uh, that's That's not fun. I was excited about that. Oh, that's pretty. Is that what we just went over? Yeah. Oh, fancy that. I like the view of it from here. Mm-hmm. Lots of oil. Lots of oil.
forgot how far the station is from the actual uh, bridge. I thought it was just a little over, but I guess not. We're talking about Richmond? No, uh, Martinez. We're still oh, there. Martinez. We're still in Martinez? Yeah. Anyway, it's super social, fun, and active. 